Welcome to the January 2021 Visual Artists Exhibition of the Placidus Artist Series, now in its 34th season. Our concerts and art shows are being presented virtually, so you can continue to enjoy our full program in the comfort and safety of your own home, while there are limitations on public gathering. Our January exhibition features the work of five talented New Mexico artists under the theme, Spinning Color and Texture into Art. These artists were selected through a juried process, and the work is accompanied by original music created by our own resident composer, John Bullock. Now, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the exhibition and music. Alan Borden's artistic journey was triggered by an inspiring grade school art teacher. Alan went on to earn a BS in journalism and advertising while also studying photography. He continued his ongoing study of contemporary artists while pursuing a successful career in creative advertising and corporate marketing. Alan's photography has been exhibited in museums and galleries in Texas, Oklahoma, and New Mexico. Alan says, while I love photographing many different subjects, the work of noted landscape photographer Elliot Porter showed me the world of beauty in abstract and ambiguous images of nature. It paved the way for me to look at the man-made world through an abstract lens, especially in easily passed over mundane objects that, to me, exhibited salient elements of contemporary abstract painting that I greatly enjoy. Steve Palmer spent 40 plus years as a professor at University of California, Berkeley, with a focus on visual perception and cognition, culminating in his pioneering book, Vision Science, Photons to Phenomenology. Steve devoted the last decade of his scientific career to visual aesthetics, studying what kinds of visual experiences people like and why they like what they do. He is currently working on a new book about color, Reversing the Rainbow, Reflections on Color and Consciousness. Steve says, I've always been fascinated by the limitless complexities of natural materials like polished marble, agate, jasper, and petrified wood, but I was hopeless when I tried to paint them with brushes on canvas. About five years ago, I started pouring paint instead of brushing it and found I could create an amazing variety of abstract compositions whose gradients of colors and textures I found remarkably appealing. Thank you. 
Elizabeth Potter has always looked for ways to express her creativity by producing art in various forms. Since moving to Positas, she continues to express her creative energy by exploring new artistic opportunities. Her most recent works, including those exhibited here, employ paper quilling, the art of rolling, pinching, and twisting long, thin strips of paper into different shapes and gluing the shapes together. Although traditionally used to depict recognizable objects and scenes, Elizabeth has branched out to create abstract compositions. Elizabeth says, when I moved to Placidas, I realized the dream of having my own studio. I'm currently dedicated full-time to quilling, which is a paper art form that was popular during the 18th century. Switching back and forth between easily recognizable forms to free-flowing abstracts keeps the work fresh and me, the artist, interested. Bobby Lopez is a native of Albuquerque. He retired from Sandia Labs, where he designed and cared for landscapes and interior scapes for foyers, large patios, and atriums throughout the campus. In 2003, he designed and built his home in Placidas. Then he began to paint. Bobby says, I use acrylic paint because it is so versatile and non-toxic, allowing me to mix it with various mediums to create different effects. I bring my love of landscape into my paintings with the same elements of vibrant color found in flowers and plants, the lines and patterns in rocks, and the flow of water. It was the variation of shapes and colors in clouds that sparked my interest in a more abstract style.
Janet Bothney grew up in New England, where long bouts of gray left her breathless for signs of spring and the smelling salts of daffodils. These paintings from her floral grunge series elegantly straddle a fine line between chaos and organization. They deploy swirls, strokes, drips, and drizzles of bold color to suggest the joy in perennial revival of floral and organic environments. Janet says, my focus is primarily about letting paint be paint. Paint that swirls, bleeds, melds, and breathes. Paint that humbles, dances in and out like an imp, and forever plays host to color. Spectra shaped through the kaleidoscope of the mind and spun out by the artist's hand, probes our ability to find order in the chaos and structure in the random. Paint has shown me the importance of relinquishing control. I aim to steer it gently, consciously, and remain in the moment. The artwork shown is reproduced with the express permission of the artists who maintain copyright protection of their images. All artwork is available for purchase. For more information, please contact C. Palmer at sepalmer at gmail.com or by calling 510-684-4447. We hope you enjoy this virtual art exhibition and will support our artists through your purchase of their works. This video may be viewed through the end of the month at placidistartistseries.org, where you can also find future concert and art exhibition information.